Bewildered paralegal Caitlin Levy says that after returning home from work today, it occurred to her that oddly at no point during her day was she harassed, leered at, or made to feel humiliated or physically threatened. It's weird, but looking back on it, I suddenly realized that not one strange man made a creepy comment at me or an obscene gesture or a sleazy look for like the whole day. How can that be? The 29-year-old told reporters that even at points in her day when she is traditionally almost certain to be made uncomfortable by at least one or two leering male strangers, not a single such instance occurred. I actually got to walk from the train to my office and never once catch some weirdo smiling at me or looking me up and down or slowing down his car to yell some shit out the window at me. I felt weirdly safe or something. Even at work, Levy claims that not one male superior passed her in the hallway and told her to, quote, smile more, nor did she overhear a single misogynist joke being loudly told within earshot of her desk. I don't think I was degraded at all at work today. Maybe I wasn't. Is that possible? After more than an hour of trying to recall a single example of harassment in her day, Levy told reporters her search had come up cold, although doubts still persist as to why. I don't know if it's something with me or what. I mean, I don't look any different today than I usually do. Or maybe something was coincidentally going on with every man I happen to pass or interact with or... Ew. Okay, never mind. I just got a super gross email from my boss. What the fuck is this problem? Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. In 2009, they made a big deal out of women making up more than 50% of the workforce worldwide. The glass ceiling is shattered, they said. But of the 190 heads of state worldwide, only nine are women. And we all know, a woman only makes 77% of what a man makes for doing the exact same job. The masters of the status quo are still there, hovering above the glass ceiling. So breaking it isn't enough. We need to shatter the glass ceiling in such a way that millions of glittering shards surge upwards, slashing the faces of regressive thinkers, opening their throats, murdering them as they scream and choke to death on their own blood. There are so many examples of strong women breaking through this ceiling, grasping a hunk of jagged glass and digging it into the soft bellies of their male counterparts, letting their hot intestines spill onto the floor. Carol Bartz of Yahoo, Ellen Coleman, DuPont, Patricia Wirtz, who, in leading the 39th largest company in America, is single-handedly shoving thousands of splinter-thin glass shards under the fingernails and eyelids of centuries of unfair business practices. Women are tasked with the thankless job of holding our babies in one hand and shattering glass with another. Think I'm exaggerating. This is Ella Thomas. She graduated from the Harvard Business School in two years and was senior vice president of a major firm in less than five. She flayed business as usual with a glass ax and fed the skin scraps to slavering pigs. But she resigned because she did not feel that she could be a CEO and a mom at the same time. Shing! Shing, 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 shing! But what of the companies that have the shatterproof glass? A woman breaks the ceiling in these arenas and it crumbles into harmless pebbles as the people around her claim that it was never there in the first place. To those women, I say dig deeper. Pour those pebbles into the craft beer they love so much. Let the glass tear into their esophagus and their stomach. Let the pebbles turn their intestine into a mesh, disintegrating it so the blood pours from their very assholes. <laughs> we must tie down those who would hold us back to a rusted iron gurney. We need to carefully unwrap a small burlap satchel and reveal beautiful surgical instruments forged of sharp, crystal clear ceiling glass. Then, with surgical precision, we must slice off their testicles and roll their loose scrotum skin into tiny tubes. 
We must shove those scrotum tubes back into their urethras, smash the genital mess with two more shards so that the glass inside the penis may shatter further, grinding it up from the inside out, making it a worthless mash. Only then can we have gender equality in the workplace. Thank you.